Something big was about to happen. A voice spoke from heaven declaring ever-increasing glory. If you're new to Clonakilty, you probably have wondered why the Whale's Tail Bistro is called that. You may remember this video I made back in January. We were lamenting the fact that there was once a beautiful bronze statue of a whale's tail that stood on this plinth here in Clonakilty. It was dismantled years ago as part of the flood relief scheme and was left looking abandoned in this nearby builder's yard. Well, the warm sunny weather this week may have given us all a lift, but the whale's tail got a lift too. At 6am on Tuesday morning, the tail was carefully hoisted and delivered back to its newly restored plinth. Social media around the town was buzzing with delight. It has been quite a glorious landmark on the main N71 road to West Cork. The wait had been so long, it was like we didn't realise it was just about to happen. Michael Scully, CEO of the Clonakilty Distillery and the Wales Tail Bistro, shares all our delight and explained to me a connection I hadn't known before. Okay, so we're delighted to uh, have our whale's tail sculpture at long last back after its absence of about two and a half years. Uh, this sculpture is actually uh, made after a whale called Boomerang. There are three humpback whales that live permanently off the galley head and they disappear for four months every year to breed. Nobody really knows where they go, but they think it is in Cape Verde. And every year they came back. And you can see the whales, you can identify each whale by the markings on their fluke. And there is one whale that has been coming back regularly to the galley head for the last 18 years. His name is Boomerang. And this sculpture, which is also the logo we use, is, is actually named, uh, are built after Boomerang. So we're delighted to have it back. I wonder how many of you watching have been lucky enough to see Boomerang firsthand. Boomerang is a bit like West Cork's version of Dingle's Fungi, the dolphin. Last summer, my daughter Rosanna and I took a trip out of Cork McSherry with Atlantic Whale and Wildlife Tours. It was a glorious, gorgeous summer's day. There we are passing St. John's, one of our four churches in the Kilgariff Union. As we headed out to the open sea, there was a great air of nervous anticipation. Would we see something special? We got off to a great start when we sighted a basking shark breaching the water, which, according to our skipper, was actually a very rare event. As plankton feeders, they have no known reason to breach. He'd only ever seen this twice before in his life. Watching, waiting, anticipating. We were like Jesus' disciples. The hour came for them when ordinary people from the nations came looking for Jesus. And God's voice breached from heaven. I will glorify your name, Jesus. Soon we were joined by several pods of dolphins. It was so lovely to see them in their natural world. All this exists just a few miles off our shores. Wow! Do go and see this for yourself if you haven't already. But would we see our humpback whale? Here is some actual drone footage taken of Boomerang later in the summer. He's devouring a bait ball of sprat that he had churned up. What's unique about humpback whales is that they tail fluke. This involves the whale lifting its majestic flukes clear out of the water before commencing its dive. This enables photographers to record their tail flukes, revealing the identity of each whale, just like a fingerprint. And here is Boomerang's signature tail, which our sculpture represents. The 
the hour came, and the very longed for whale's tail reappeared. As locals look on, we can hardly wait to see it in all its glory when the plumbing is linked up. Water will spray and trickle over the flukes and stream down into the water below, just like the tail fluking boomerang. With the disciples, something huge was about to happen. It would powerfully turn their world upside down. Yet in the most glorious of ways. Are you ready for something big in next week's video? <laughs>